Hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I just need to add a little bit to the intro just to tell you what's happening in this episode. Uh, in this episode, I'm mostly in the nether looking at some of the projects I've been working on over the week and a blaze farm as well. So, as usual, shortcuts in the description, and I think the rest I have already recorded. So, enjoy! Oh! There's a pig man. <laughs> hey guys, Red Eyes here, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 17 of Hermitcraft. And yeah, sorry for the delay. I've actually recorded three episodes this week and scrapped them all because I was trying to do sort of, you know, build updates as you build and do updates as you go along. And I don't know, the episodes are just far too long and boring. So. I don't know, I think I'll, I'll just show you what I've been doing, and I'll try doing that some other time, but yeah, it didn't work out for me. Um, anyways, uh, I haven't really done much around the base here. As you can see, the lighting is all weird because we are in 13W07A, and that means that personally I have to use uh, smooth lighting off. Otherwise, I get tons of lag, and uh, yeah, it's not very good. But uh, being a 13.07a uh, is good because it means all the comparators work. So my chicken farm up there works automatically now. I don't have to go up and unclog it. And actually, we'll just go up and check that's actually true, because uh, I could be lying here. <laughs> um, but as far as I know, it's it's working and the test is really just to look in this comparator here and yes there's only one egg and above there are none there's just a glitchy chicken <laughs> so that means it's firing them out and they're not all stocking up here so that is good my item sorters for my mob stuff is working and in theory I should be able to uh, turn on this hopper timer as well because the two comparators were bugging out. So I'll do that now. And let's see, how much stuff have I got in here? Not very much, I'll put a little bit more in. And I got some redstone there, which I can hook up. Oh, I'll just turn that off, that's the override. And now this thing should start running, because this has been off for quite a while. And one thing I've noticed in the new update is the lag seems to be a lot better. Uh, although it is still a bit laggy around here. But yeah, that's very good, because there's no point having the big mold trap just sitting there. And apart from that around here, I haven't really done much. Just, uh, yeah, not much really. There's a big mushroom there I need to cut down. <laughs> and... Uh, Oh, I've got 32 levels, so I was going to enchant something. And I know I could just use the books and stuff and get what I want. But I figure if I'm going to make a new pick, then I may as well start from scratch, and I could get a good one. You know, there's always a chance. Let's see if i got fortune. Yeah, fortune there. Hannah <laughs> I don't know if you saw Suzuma's viewpoint of the wither fight. Uh, but I wasn't really paying attention when he was speaking. And he said, yeah, I have a stack of blocks of diamonds. And he has a full stack of blocks of diamonds. So that's like 7 billion diamonds. <laughs> and I've only got these five. Although I might have a few more hidden around somewhere. But uh, definitely not enough to make a stack of blocks. That's just crazy. But anyways, I only need three. And a bit of wood somewhere. And that's just to use up these levels, really. Of course, I probably won't be able to name it. Don't think I have quite enough for that. Um, but I just want to use up the levels, and I'll say that one more time. I just want to use up the levels. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, there's the bell again. I must be lucky. Let's see, it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So, I'll go for, that's the first one, and the second one. Oh, I was, I was going to do it at 18 there. God, almost didn't get rid of those. 
Uh, okay, 30. Oh, no, I took the first one. Well, that's pretty good, really. Another Silk Touch pick. I uh, just need to put some unbreaking on that. But I don't have the levels for that right now. And just while I'm walking in here, I see these cocoa beans. And someone said I should put more of those around. And that is definitely a good idea. Uh, yeah. Anyways, what is that doing there? <laughs> uh, so I'll just stick... Oop. Yeah, I can only sleep at night. Okay, stick that in there. What have I got on me? Fortune 3, don't want to take that. Uh, the Shears, I actually named them myself. And this was the first name I thought of. The Webmaster. <laughs> uh, I thought that was pretty good. But yeah, I've put them on Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 4. So that should do. I've got an Invisibility Potion there. And I think I'll take another one with me. They come in really useful in the nether for, uh, you know, if you're getting chased by gas and stuff. And I've been using a lot. So we'll go through here and see what I have been up to. So I did a little bit of cleanup in this potion sorting thing here. Getting it all looking nice. Trying to eliminate all the spawning pads. Uh, so I'll probably have to cover some of this in half blocks still, just so stuff doesn't spawn where the redstone is. But mainly... Oh man, this zombie meat is running out. And the reason I eat zombie meat is because it's free. Uh, that's, that's basically it. I will set up a good farm sometime, but not right now. You can see this pad used to be three high, and I've reduced it to one. Uh, I'll probably half block the whole thing actually because when wither skeletons were spawning in there now they suffocate <laughs> it's a bit silly but you know they spawn and then they suffocate so not much point in that here as well I've taken it all out and fortunately by doing this I've turned these into big gas spawning pads so I'm a bit scared for what will happen when one spawns Oop, I'm giving it away there but what I've been up to mainly for the first half of the week is building the box. Oh yeah. So I'm definitely going ahead with the Wither Skeleton farm in here. Uh, you can see I've got this sort of pattern on the roof, which unfortunately is not the same at both ends. And I have a few options to to make that better, but I think what I'll do is just leave it for now. And that sound in the background is my cat knocking stuff over. But yeah, it's pretty big and it took quite a while because I had to cover everything in netherrack. So I had to get all the netherrack, build these walls around it, um, put a roof on it, and then... Oh, I'm at the wrong end here. Oh, got no ender pearls either. Um, Oh yeah, but while we're here, we'll look at something else I've been up to, or I need to do, is... Oh, there's a pigman, and I don't want a pigman there. So I'm going to have to blast away all this ceiling here. There's a big overhanging thing there, which is far too close to this box here. And same with all the stuff over there. However, I did start blasting over there. So where that lava is, maybe... 15 blocks to the right and 20 blocks over like sort of to the end of that platform there uh, there's a big island which is now gone and yeah I mean the the footage trying to put together it just didn't work it was all you know I was here and then there and it was I don't know I just found it boring so I, I thought you would too uh, and the same goes for building what is under the roof which I'm calling the box. Now the box is pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a big box. I highly regret using all this, uh, what's it called, brick and iron bar because it took a long time to cook all the bricks and um, I don't know, just building it took ages because I had the outside wall and then I had to build the inside wall and then take the outside wall off and of course have to make it look nice with the pattern here 
And I spent a long time thinking about uh, how the farm is going to work up there, how those spawning pads are going to work. And I don't know, it's, it's hard to test because I just don't get many spawns at the moment because I only have these sort of two, two one wide strips, which just isn't very much room. Uh, but the current design I was thinking of was a sort of clock based one where uh, when something spawns there, it would get pushed in. I don't know, maybe you saw the pigman right at the end there. And by doing this, you can see at this level it's all air blocks, so there's nothing in the way. And I think that's how you're supposed to do it, but I'm not entirely sure because in my testing, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Um, if I had stuff beside it, or uh, you know, at different levels, mobs seem to spawn at about the same rate. And what I did was in creative mode, I just had two, uh, two strips like this, and three levels high, and then I put various things behind, beside them or not beside them. And as far as I could tell, mobs were spawning about the same. But anyways, that needs a lot of thought and it won't be working until all of the rest of the nether is blasted away or half blocked or covered in lava or whatever has to happen. And uh, yeah, it's, it was sort of funny. I spoke to Doc M. I haven't spoken to him in quite a while. And I mentioned that I was doing this and I know he did it in the past and, uh, you know, for his iron lung thing. And he said, yeah, that's one thing I would never do again, is uh, try and do a perimeter in the nether. Because it is so much work. Although I think he did it uh, before we had efficiency picks and that kind of thing. And I have been using efficiency for unbreaking uh, picks, or I've used one so far. Just because it's so quick getting through the nether rack. And uh, I'm going to be pouring lava all down here, so I've sort of made these steps of equal length. So that when lava does flow down, it will spread equally. And I'll make a big trough along the top. I'll have maybe a few lava blocks and then, you know, get them to spread by, uh, by making troughs and then letting it flow down once it's spread to the side. I hope that makes sense, but it will... It, it'll be covered in lava, long story short. But yeah, uh, the only interesting thing that really happened was um, I found out that if you uh, hit a pigman with a TNT that you light with a uh, flint and steel, obviously they'll chase you, that's known. But what I didn't realize is they'll chase you even if you're invisible. And it seems lots of other mobs do too. Once you annoy them, even if you are invisible... Well, what is this? I don't remember that. <laughs> Even if you're invisible, they seem to chase you anyways. So, that's a bit annoying. Because then you come back in the nether, take another invisibility potion, and they can't see you. Oh, so I'll just load up here. And I forgot to mention where we are. Uh, or where we're going, even. And that is to a project I did today, and recorded another episode that ended up being about... 20 minutes too long and super boring when I was editing it. But what it is, it's the first of, over the first of, first half of my dual blaze farm. Oh yeah. So, yeah, there it is. It's like a big box, got the blaze farm, or the blaze spawner in there. And I found this months ago, this thing. Uh, there's another one there. Yeah, I just I just never got around to using it, but now, because, well, primarily because I have all the enchanted books, I always need a decent amount of levels to do anything. Uh, but you know, I don't have the XP farm at my base, and going to the end farm is kind of annoying sometimes. And one of the reasons is you only get Ender pearls, whereas here you get uh, blaze rods as well, and they're very useful for cooking everything. So. Yeah, as you can see, the design is maybe not one you've seen before. Uh, it's something I came up with a while ago. And uh, yeah, the way it works is there's these rings of pistons. 
and uh, there's a line of redstone which goes all the way around the outside and it does the top level and then uh, you can sort of see behind that blaze there there's a hole and the redstone goes down one under a half block and it continues on the level below so it sort of spirals down and as you can see it's not running right now the blazes spawn up there and then they fall down and once they're down there they are out of range of the spawner so it continues to produce at maximum spawn rate uh, it might spawn a little bit more if I you know put out some of the lights around here but yeah I'll just give it a whirl and show you what that looks like um, yeah so I hit that all the pistons pop out some of the blazes get stuck, but really, if you have it, uh, if you pulse it a few times, it sort of pushes everything down. And actually, it, it works quite well, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, it does use a ton of pistons, it's very easy to set up, and the nice thing is it doesn't have to run all the time. So, you know, most of the time I can have it off, let the blazes fall down, and then only when I want to collect them do I have to actually run it a few times. So yeah, it works quite well. Uh, for the killing part, I currently am using potions. I didn't hook up a crusher. And because I recorded the episode earlier, I scrapped. I'm not sure how many potions I have here. I will go down and uh, just check out what the redstone is like. All there is really is there is the trap door up there. Uh, you can see the sticky pistons there extend, and they they shut off the top so no more blazes will come in. And all that is is two pistons on the side, redstone going around the back, and two more pistons there. So very simple. And then there are two additional pistons at the bottom to push any blaze rods towards the front. So, yeah, that's it. Whoops, oh, I guess that's not going to do anything now. So I'll open that up, and you'll see when I hit this button, it will trigger the, the piston spiral. And we should get a bunch of blazes coming down. Yeah, a bunch come down. And I basically just have to hit the button a few times. And of course I'll be able to hook it up to a clock, so then that will be even simpler. But yeah, I mean, blazes, they spawn pretty quick. Uh, I'll have a look here. There's already about 30 there. I'm going to let a few more build up. The build up. And then I can use these last potions. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't make any more. <laughs> Ooh. Now, it's all half blocked here because uh, this is like an active... Uh, place where wither skeletons and blazes can spawn. This block here marks the center of an intersection. So I think not eight or nine blocks in each direction from here they can spawn. So in this section here uh, I think there's a few blazes that have still spawned when I've come back. Uh, there's none there now luckily. And uh, yeah. I came here a long time ago. Whoops. Big lag. <laughs> and there's even a enchanting area here, and you can see it's got two levels of books at the back there. So that gives you an idea of uh, how long ago it was when I set this up. But yeah. Uh, often a few blazes in that little area there. And um, just a bunch of random materials. Another rack. I think I've much more netherrack here. I've seen a bunch of wither skeletons in this little area here. There's none right now. And, oh, I don't want to get too far away because the blazes will start despawning, actually. And they might have done so already. No, I think it was just in range. But yeah, um... Let's see. I, I, I mean, I hope you can see how this works. It's, it's fairly straightforward I think it's not too complicated just hit that and all the pistons go 
and uh, yes, yeah, just in the corners where there aren't any, so there aren't any piston, so there aren't any pistons pushing against piston, pistons, pistons. God, I have such a hard time with that word. I'm gonna call them bushies. <laughs> what I was saying is, uh, yeah, the the pistons are there. That's it. I mean, it, it's fairly straightforward. The nice thing about this actually is that each level is only two blocks high, and I think with other designs it has to be three blocks, although I have seen ones which actually are only one block high and all the redstone is behind. But uh, because I was working on the other farm, which is going to take a long time to get running, and you have to you know, break so much stuff and cover all the available spawning pads to get it working properly, uh, the blaze farm is the total opposite. I mean, you don't have to get anything cleared. You just have to build the farm in the space it takes, and then you get maximum spawn rates. So that is uh, very appealing, really. It's, it's quite nice. Uh, 45 there. I'm not sure if what the mob cap is now. It's probably been changed. Or if there's a mob cap or anything like that. Because it doesn't really seem to go above 50. Uh, well, well, maybe it does. But anyways, uh, that's probably enough. I, I can't really think of anything else to, to talk about here. Uh, without going too far away and allowing them to despawn. So, probably a good idea to keep that button a few pushes. That will trigger all the pistons. You can't actually hear them because the blazes are making so much sound. Uh, even though you can't actually hear the sound, they're making a lot of sound and it's using up all the game's sort of sound playing capabilities. Um, but yeah, just hit that a few times. I can barely hear them in the background, the pistons. Yeah. Um, so okay, I'll lock that off there. And I'm sure you've seen this, all seen this before. I should have made the, the other splash potion, the one that only lasts 20 seconds. And uh, because this, I think this does the same thing, but it takes longer or something. I don't know, I'm not a potion expert yet. And also, I should put a dispenser here at this height, because when you dispense the potion at head height, it is more effective. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'll just chuck that in there. And poison myself at the same time. Uh, yeah, the top is closed, so no fresh ones are coming in. And I'll let them drain down for, I don't know, 30 seconds. 20 seconds. Um, oh, my effect is run off. Run off? Run out, actually. Um, yeah, that should do. And now I'll chuck in the damage potion. Oh, yeah. Monster kill. <laughs> Monster kill. So, as you can see, we weren't here very long. And how much XP am I going to get? 26 levels. And on top of that, let's see, I've got 21 blaze rods already. Oh, only up to 34, so I didn't get very many blaze rods that time. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty good. And I think that's probably all there is to say about it for now. I mean, the, the one thing is I didn't build both of them. So if you really want to know how this works, I can show you uh, how I build it for the other one. And I'm not sure if I'll do what Etho did, you know, a conveyor system to connect the two of them. Although that probably would make more sense to get them all together and then uh, it's just easier to deal with them. And uh, yeah, I mean, all this area here, this weather, this nether fortress, I'll probably knock this down to this level, and then I don't think there'll be any wither skeletons or blazes spawning because the area where they can spawn, I think it only comes down one, two, three, to that block. I think they can spawn on there. Um, so I'll just knock it all out, and then it will make more sense, you know, coming down here. 
Although I do have to stay in range of the blaze spawner itself, but you know, if I'm standing here, it's still in range. I think if I get back, let's see, I'm out of range here. So around here is the limit. But yeah, I wish I had more potions because there's a bunch of blazes there. Man. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a little bit of exploring here. I think I came out here before. Uh, there might be some great big lava lake with a, a fortress in the middle. I hope I can get back up. I, I don't remember. Or else... I mean, there was one place I found a fortress that someone had, like, started inhabiting. But I haven't been able to find it again. And, oh, maybe this is it. Yeah. And I don't know... I don't know who it was. So we'll try and get up there. And... Oh, that's a weird one. It's like a... Oop. Have I got... Yeah, I got my feather falling. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Although I doubt it is this one. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to explore here for a bit. Oh! Bugger! Oh no, that was... <laughs> I knew when I set out it would be a terrible mistake. And then you can see there's... Oh, one just despawned. That's funny. But he stole my boots. <laughs> Exploring is a terrible idea. Should always stay at home. <laughs> oh well. I guess uh, I'll show you my technique for getting my stuff back. Let's see. Mm. Oh, I got fire resistance. Yeah, so I should be okay. Just go straight through here. And I think I actually explored this place uh, when the wither skeletons could spawn because when I died there, I got a real flashback of dying in exactly the same space, uh, same place. <laughs> so it's quite likely that I, I've been out here before and met my end the same way. Only this time I'm invisible. I didn't bring a sword. <laughs> I feel like a chump now. But uh, yeah, you should be there. You shouldn't be able to see me. Very good. Uh, have I got a sword? No, so I'll just have to set up a little little barricade here. May as well give you some light as well. Da -da. I'll just get those. Oh, there's stuff down there, okay. Uh, stuff down there too, so maybe there is a sword, but I think I'll just kill him with a pick for now. So actually, I'll take those away. Put them down there, and now he shouldn't be able to get in. Although I have seen one of these new two and a half high wither skeletons get through a two two block space I think you just sort of charged through but it was made out of half blocks so maybe it was a, like a glitch <laughs> he looks ridiculous wearing those boots they really don't suit him anyways <laughs> thank you and yep still invisible he must have just been like what is going on I'm getting picked in the- whoa! Picked in the face. Wasn't paying attention to my food then. But, uh, yeah. I guess this isn't the place where I saw someone. Although, I know, I was going to say that looks like a man-made platform I was standing on, but it didn't at all. Ooh, that's good, got some pistons. I don't know why I went exploring with a bunch of pistons. Just spur of the moment, really. Oh yeah, I didn't actually put the boots on. <laughs> that's why I took so much damage then. Right, that's a little bit better. And yeah, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice today, at least. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to head back. <laughs> 